Ever wondered how the world's richest man takes a vacation? Spoiler alert, it's out of this world. Yes, we're talking about none other than Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon and Blue Origin. Seems like he has a penchant for venturing into the unknown, be it the vast expanse of online retail or the infinite cosmos. But he's not alone in this billionaire space race. Elon Musk with SpaceX and Richard Branson with Virgin Galactic are also vying for the space tourism trophy. The competition is as fierce as it gets. Just a few years back, Bezos's first crewed flight marked a leap for private space tourism, with the youngest and oldest passengers to ever fly to space. Not to be outdone, Branson had already launched himself into space just nine days prior. Meanwhile, Musk is focusing on orbital rockets eyeing the deeper realms of the cosmos. So, what does Bezos's latest adventure entail? Buckle up, we're about to blast off into the details. You might think planning a trip to space involves a lot more than packing a suitcase, and you'd be right. Now, let's talk about what went into the preparation for this launch, shall we? First off, selecting the crew was no mere lottery draw. We have Jeff Bezos, the world's richest man and founder of Amazon, his brother Mark, an 82-year-old dynamo of a pilot named Wally Funk, and an 18-year-old recent high school graduate Oliver Damon, who became Blue Origin's first paying customer talk about a mixed bag. Of course, they didn't just waltz onto the rocket. There was rigorous training involved, preparing them for the unique conditions of suborbital space tourism. A few minutes of weightlessness and panoramic views of the Earth. Sounds fun, but you better believe it requires some serious prep work. Now let's not forget about the star of the show, the new Shepard rocket. This baby is designed for an 11-minute rocket-powered trip to the edge of space separating from the capsule and landing upright after its task is done. A true marvel of modern engineering. With all systems go, it was time to light the fuse and let the fireworks begin. Now imagine the world's richest man, his brother, the oldest and youngest space travelers, all strapped in and ready for liftoff. This ain't no ordinary road trip, folks. We're talking about a rocket-powered ride to the edge of the cosmos. The engines roar to life and before you know it, they're shooting up into the sky, leaving our humble planet behind. As they ascend into the heavens, the force of gravity pulls at them, pressing them into their seats. But then, something magical happened. Just as they cross the boundary of space, they're suddenly weightless. It's a strange sensation, like being a feather floating on a breeze. No up, no down, just endless freedom. Among the crew are Wally Funk, an 82-year-old pilot, and Oliver Damon, a freshly minted high school graduate. Now these two are no ordinary passengers. Wally's the oldest person to ever fly to space. And Oliver, he's the youngest. They've both etched their names into the history books, proving that space travel ain't just for the spring chickens or the seasoned veterans. Imagine the view from up there, looking down at our beautiful blue planet, seeing it in all its glory. From that vantage point, all the borders and boundaries that divide us disappear. It's a humbling, awe-inspiring experience that changes you, makes you see the world in a whole new light. But what goes up must come down, right? Time to talk about the return journey. The thrill of space travel is one thing, but the trip back home, that's a whole different ball game. After experiencing a few minutes of weightlessness and panoramic views of the Earth, the new Shepard capsule begins its descent. The capsule separates from the rocket, a crucial step to ensure a smooth journey back. Next up in this cosmic ballet, the deployment of parachutes. These aren't your average parachutes, folks. They're designed to slow down the capsule, transforming what could have been a crash landing into a gentle descent. The capsule, now looking more like a feather than a hunk of metal, drifts towards the Earth. The ground grows closer and then touchdown. The mission, a brainchild of the world's richest man, is a success. The crew, including Bezos himself, an 82-year-old pilot named Wally Funk, and an 18-year-old space enthusiast named Oliver Damon emerge from the capsule, their feet firmly back on Earth. They've experienced the extraordinary and returned to tell the tale. And just like that, Bezos and his crew were back on terra firma, proving that space may be the final frontier, but it's just another day at the office for billionaires. So what have we learned from Bezos's astronomical adventure? Well, the world's richest man can take a quicker trip to space than most of us spend on our daily commute. His rocket, New Shepard, might have looked like a giant cowboy hat taking off, but it sure did the job. With an 82-year-old pilot, Wally Funk, and an 18-year-old high school graduate, Oliver Damon, on board, the ride was nothing short of historic. 
as the billionaires race to space we're left to wonder who's next space travel it's not just for astronauts anymore or in the words of bezos himself best day ever <laughs>